Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. So for the purposes of today's video, I am going to show you how you can maximize your luck. And the first tip we're going to talk about here is the Secret Note 20. Now Secret Notes become available once you get into winter and you locate Krobus. You just got to follow his footprints. The cutscene will activate once you leave your farm. He will drop a magnifying glass and once you get that magnifying glass, Secret Notes can drop from, you know, all over the place. Uh, especially kill the monsters, you know, blowing things off. Now, Secret Note 20 in particular will give you a quest to go to a specific location and give the driver a rabbit's foot. The driver will then reward you with a special charm. Now, the special charm is a passive item that goes into your wallet and it will give you a permanent increase to your luck. Now, rabbit's foots obviously can be gotten from rabbits. So I have a coop there filled up with rabbits. And all my rabbits are on max friendship, so the higher the friendship level, the more likely you are to get a rabbit's foot from your rabbit. If you don't have coops, if you don't have rabbits, you can actually farm them from serpents in the Skull Cavern. They also drop rabbit's foots. So as you can see there now, I just got the, uh, I just got the special charm. Let's have a look at our wallet. There we go. So we have that for the rest of the game, and it's a permanent luck increase for us, which is amazing. The more luck you have in this game, the better. The next thing we're going to talk about is the 1.5 update, the ginger ale. Now you can't grow ginger, you have the whole out of the ground here in Ginger Island. Now ginger can be turned into ginger ale and what's great about ginger ale is that you can, combi you can combine it with a food buff. So you can combine ginger ale with spicy eels, lucky lunches, magic rock candies. To get the recipe for ginger ale, just go to the dwarf in the volcano cave, he'll sell it to you for a thousand gold. And I mean, it's so worth it. Because at this stage of the game, a thousand gold is absolutely nothing. And it is an amazing item. So, obviously, when you're going to your, you know, into your skull caverns or your mines, like before the 1.5 come out, people would have taken a magic rock candy with a triple shot espresso, or a spicy eel with a triple shot espresso, or a lucky lunch with a triple shot espresso, because a triple shot espresso gives you that extra speed buff. But now a lot of people, including myself, are taking the ginger ale over the triple shot espresso because of the luck buff that it gives. But not only that, you can actually cook the ginger ale using a key seasoning and it will give you a plus two luck instead of a plus one. So I'm just going to go into the uh, into my house here now in Ginger Island and I'm going to cook a few ginger ales just to show you the difference between a regular ginger ale and an enhanced ginger ale um, created using key seasoning. So as you can see there now the regular ginger ale just gives me a plus one to luck and that's still amazing especially combined with food buffs. So I'm just going to use a couple of key gems here now, and I'll purchase some key seasonings. And in my opinion, the key seasoning is it's so worth it. You get 10 of it for 10 key gems. And that's lo that's plenty. That is plenty. So I'm just going to make another ginger ale here now. And ginger ale is cheap. It's just ginger and sugar. You can purchase sugar from Pierre, as much sugar as you want. So as you can see here now, the gold star ginger ale that we just made has a plus two look compared to the unmodified ginger ale with a plus one look. So if you combine that, for example, with a magic rock candy that gives you a plus five look, that's plus seven look. That is absolutely huge. And it will mean that when you go into the likes of the Skull Cavern or the hard versions of the mines or just doing stuff in general, you are going to have some serious luck on your side. The next thing we're going to talk about are lucky lunches. So if you get to year two on the 28th, the, um, you just cl click on the television here now and you can learn the Lucky Lunch recipe from the Queen of Sauce. Now, the Lucky Lunch isn't as good as Magic Rock Candy, but it's but if you combine it with the key seasoning, it can be very potent indeed. Lucky Lunch unmodified gives you plus three luck. Now, that's very good, especially if you combine it with a ginger ale. But let's cook the Lucky Lunch now using the key seasoning to see what kind of stats it's going to have. I'm just going to make five of them here now. As we can see, I get a plus four to luck. So the, the luck increases by one. Now, if we combine that, obviously, with the ginger ale, obviously, we're shy of reaching the luck capacity you can get with a magic rock candy. So it's an absolutely magnificent alternative uh, for you if you don't have the luxury of purchasing magic rock candies. So let's talk about the magic rock candies. You can get them every Thursday from the Desert Trader. Three prismatic shards a pop, so you can only get one per week. If you're playing in co-op mode, your partner can also get a magic rock candy, so you can stack up faster that way. You can also get a magic rock candy from Gunther if you donate to him 90 artifacts. 
Now there is a tall request, uh, but you know it, it it will come in very handy, especially when you finally reach that artifact threshold. And the last way is by farming haunted skulls in the quarry cave. And the quarry cave resets every day, so once you clear it out, you can't go back in and refarm the enemies. There is a 0.13% chance it will drop from a haunted skull. So for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you how rare it actually is to get a magic rock candy off this enemy. So I'm using a mod here called the Monster Spawner mod, and I'm going to spawn in here about a thousand uh, haunted skulls. I'm actually surprised the game didn't break. <laughs> And I've, I've also activated invincibility, so these skulls don't uh, one-shot me. So I am now going to massacre 1,000 haunted skulls, just to show you the actual odds of you getting a magical candy from this enemy. Bear note that all those items I picked up, a lot of them only have about a 1% a one percent uh, drop rate. So I got dark swords, I got lovely rings off them as well, and... Two magic rock candies dropped there for me, and I, you know, I took about a thousand of them. So, is it working into the quarry cave every day to try to get a magic rock candy? It is, because it'll only take a few in game hours away from your time. The quarry cave is very small, and when you do get a magic rock candy, I only got one ever once without using a mod. It's very satisfying. The next thing we're going to talk about is the lucky ring. You can pan this up from any of the penny points around the game and the lucky ring gives a plus one to luck and obviously you can stack two lucky rings so if you stack two lucky rings a magic rock candy and a key seasoning ginger ale you have the most luck that you can get in this game it is absolutely insane so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you enjoyed it i will upload the next stardew valley video in the next day or two so stay tuned for that and as always have a great day bye for now Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day!